Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about direct query auto refresh in Microsoft Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification. Now let's get started. I have made a previous video about how we can able to import the data using the direct query in Microsoft Power BI. If you haven't seen that, please click on the link given on top of your screen. Now let's get back to this one. In October 2019, Microsoft has released a new feature in Power BI Desktop and Power BI Service as well. For the direct query mode, you can auto refresh the page based on your frequency. For that, it is still in preview. For that, you first of all you need to enable this feature. Go to this file and options and settings and options in the global part go to the preview feature and you need to enable this one automatic page refresh once it is done click ok and click anywhere on the page go to the formatting tab on the visualization pane at the bottom of it you will find an option page refresh turn it on and duration you need to enter here 5 seconds, 10 seconds, or else. Whereas you want to keep it to a second, minutes, hours, and even days, it's up to the user. As of now, I'm keeping it to 5 seconds. So I'm going to insert a data through the backend. If you see this one, it changed automatically. Okay, right. In every five seconds it's going to change the data so it's changed this is super cool right when you are developing a new report based on direct query mode it gets the data and gives you the information not only that uh, if you publish it to pop your service and if you set the tab to auto refresh then it's really helpful for you i'm going to show you in a couple of minutes so this way we can able to use the direct query auto refresh feature in Power BI Desktop. Okay. So now let's go to the Power BI service. So I'm opening my report. And that I now the latest one. Once I open the report, now I'm going to insert one more row. I have inserted one more row here, but this is not a refresh. I need to click on this three dot icon. And then click refresh. Then we will fetch the data and then display it there. If you want to enable this direct query feature, just click on this and edit. You no need to go to this file and enable this option, it is automatically available there. So click anywhere on the page, go to the formatting tab, and you will see this page refresh option. So it is set up to five seconds. So now I'm going to insert one more row again. So waiting for five seconds, it is not going to refresh this one because in edit mode in Power BI series, it is not fetching the data from the database. You just need to refresh this button, and now it will fetch the data. Even if you use this dashboard it will not going to refresh this one so now what i will do is i will just um, take this one public secure embedded code so i'm just copying this one click on this and then paste i'm going to insert one more row so come and see this one this is also not going to refresh. So I'm go, go refreshing the browser. It changed. So if you use this one, and if I'm going to use this in your website or portal or any WordPress site, you need to use the embedded feature, not the public one because the public one is not going to refresh automatically i'll just give you the demo as well 
the first one I use this one embedded feature and then now I'm going to use this one pub published to web I'm copying this one works and in the new tab paste enter so this is report embedded and this is just view the public view so you know both of the data is 31 right yeah now i'm going to insert one more row so refreshing the browser in the public still 32 now refreshing the browser in embedded mode it's 32 even the filter pane is available here but it is not available in the public one so whenever you are going to use um, the power bi report in your website or portal better to use the embedded feature not the public one because the public one refreshes the data but not on the frequency what we are going to set what is takes 10 to 15 minutes delay based on the capacity the shared capacity available in the microsoft power bi because we are using the pro license right that's fine if you're using dedicated capacity like premium capacity then it's working fine as usual the public and the private one is this for your information these are you can able to use the chat query auto refresh feature in microsoft power bi desktop as well as power bi service hope you like this video if you like this video please click on the big thumbs up button and if you're new to this channel or if you are not yet subscribed to this channel please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices if you have any queries feedbacks please post it on the comment section below share it with your friends and colleagues thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video